40 years old of Maine, Boynton, Maine, a firearms instructor of long standing. Don't know, something happened to him. I don't know what made him snap. I'm trying to find that out. But he's still on the loose. And he was said to have had mental Ill illness issues. He was hearing noises in his head. But you hear noises in your head. See, that's the devil. So we're calling it a mental illness issue. But I'm saying this is, that's the devil. You know? That's evil. What is it that got into his head? Why? Who put the noises in his head? Where did they come from? It doesn't say that he was a drug user. The devil got into him and made him do that. And that's why I'm saying we need to wash the world in Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ needs to come back. It's always the same thing. Well, this person has mental illness. But what is that really? You know, where does that come from? What triggers that? Because if the guy were mentally ill, he would have been doing this before, right? So I, our words for things are, it's like we want to avoid the truth. The truth is we have lost our spirituality. We have let evil visit the brain and the mind and the body of Robert Card, who just by all accounts like a 40-year-old dude that he looks like some of my friends, to be absolutely frank, that I grew up with. I'm serious. I looked at him and I thought, yeah, it looks like... Anyway, you know, that's what's so haunting about it. It's like it could be anybody. Why him? That's all I got to say about it. Again, I said it in my first video. I'll say it again. I'll say it again. Robert Carr needs Jesus. We need Jesus. We need love. We need to care about each other. We need to find out what made Robert Carr snap. Just, just Not just stamp him as, well, it's mentally ill. Of course it's mental illness. Racism is mental illness. It's evil. You have to stop doing evil. That's all it is. All right.